what is up everyone today i got the gold fn scar 17 for you so let's hop into it this video is going to be pretty quick today since the scar is pretty straightforward with the camo challenges and the attachments are pretty simple too speaking of the attachments let's hop right into it for my muzzle, I just have the monolithic suppressor for that sound suppression and damage range increase. The cons don't really bother me that much. For the undergrip, I have the Merc foregrip. The only reason I'm running the Merc is because I enjoy the hip fire accuracy increase and of course the recoil control. For the ammunition, the 30 round mag just because I hate only having 20 rounds in the mag originally. And to help with ammo, I have fully loaded just to start with a maximum reserve of ammo so I'm not worrying about anything. And for the optic, I have the 4x flip hybrid. It is so far my favorite optic on any assault rifle. Dropping in like a care package to the camo challenges, there is going to be 10 categories. Within each category, there is 10 total camos. And if you're an absolute scholar in math, you'll know that that is a total of 100 camos. Once you unlock all 100, you will unlock gold. Once you unlock gold for all assault rifles, you will unlock platinum. And then once you unlock platinum for every weapon category, you will get Damascus. Starting us off in our first category, this is spray paint. This is just going to be getting 800 kills, really straightforward. As long as you're getting kills with the scar, you're going to be completing this challenge. Woodland is 125 headshots, and headshots are really easy to get in hardcore because the scar is going to be a one-shot kill as well as just in ground war just because there's so many enemies running around and if you're just struggling in general just aim for the head take that extra second or two get that headshot to complete digital this is going to be 160 crouch kills best way to do this is just crouch by any objective in an objective game mode and when enemies push to either destroy it or capture it you can just get those easy crouch kills and if you get really good with going into crouch when you get into a gunfight you will obviously knock out crouch kills really fast and if you're camping in a really good power position of course you can also get crouch kills there as well dragon is going to be getting 75 hip fire kills now the hip fire accuracy isn't the best with the scar but that merc foregrip that increases the hip fire accuracy really helps you with this challenge best map to do this on is shipment run around just no scope everyone and you can also do this on shoot house as well splinter is going to be getting a hundred long shots best way to do this honestly is just hop right into ground war because most gunfights you're going to be getting in are going to be long range anyway unless you're really close to an objective long shots will come very naturally in ground war and if you're a 6v6 player any large map or long sight line will help you complete splinter to complete topo this is just going to be 100 mount kills as long as you can mount your gun on the ledge corner wall wherever as long as you're mounting your gun and you get a kill while mounted, you get points towards the topo challenge. If you're on shipment, leaning is very easy because the spawns are so screwed up. You can just lean on a ledge or a corner and then whenever enemies are just spawning or pushing you, you can drop those easy mounted kills. Same with ground war, so you can actually knock off splinter and topo at the same time if you're getting mount kills and long shots. Tiger is going to be 180 kills with 5 attachments equipped. As long as your gun has 5 attachments total, you'll be getting kills towards Tiger. Pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. Stripes is going to be 50 kills shortly after reloading. All you need to do is get a kill 5 seconds after you reload within that time of 0 to 5 seconds and you will get one of those kills towards stripes best way to do this is actually to switch out whatever weapon perk you have if you have one to sleight of hand so you're reloading fast enough once you spawn shoot one bullet off and every time you're about to get into a gunfight or push an enemy's territory you can just get a quick reload in and you can easily drop those kills shortly after reloading reptile is the exact same as tiger except this time you have to have no attachments on the scar really easy 110 kills as long as you have no attachments every kill will count towards reptile and to finish us off we have skull which is 35 times we have to get three kills without dying score streaks and equipment do not count so they have to be gun kills so pretty straightforward as long as you can get three kills in one life you are good to go and it does stack too so if you get multiple three gun streaks in a single life so six nine twelve fifteen so on and so forth it will stack and count for more than one that's going to wrap up the video for today. In the description, there's going to be the Damascus camo playlist, so you can see every other gold guide that I've made for any other gun in Modern Warfare, including DLC weapons when I put those out, and as well as the Discord link. I'm currently doing questions for a Q&A that is exclusive for the Discord, so if you guys want to be in that video or just ask some general questions, hop in that Discord, click on the link, and the invite will be sent to you automatically. I think you just click on the link to the Discord and it automatically takes you to the server. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Anyway, leave a like if you like Minecraft. 
It is scientifically proven that by smashing like your PP will grow, and if you dislike your PP will shrink. It's I don't know guys, it's just scientific fact, don't even ask me. It's researched by every scientist ever. Uh, you'll never find a paper on it that's published because it's just a common knowledge fact. I'm about to head out, and if there is one, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.